1998, 10 African writers were invited to go to Rwanda to find ways of writing about the Rwandan genocide in 1994. We will have two of those authors with us today. One is Boris Bubaka Diop, and the other will be Veronique Tadjo. Veronique wrote in response to her visit, The Shadow of Imana Travels in the Heart of Rwanda. And Boris Bubaka Diop wrote in response, Murambi, The Book of Bones. <coughs> These are two extraordinary books because they both face horror without sentimentality or sensationalism. Instead, they find a way for us to begin to conceive of what happened without dehumanizing the victims and the killers, a way of writing with respect and care over this troubled territory, which allows a human and humanizing consciousness to again assert itself. Boris said at the beginning of the workshop that he went to Rwanda confident about writing about Africa, and then when he got there, realized that he knew nothing, and so started listening. His book is about listening, listening to voices, remembering and discovering, learning what they have to do next. On arrival in Rwanda, Boris understood that journalism cannot write genocide. It rather has to be an act of imagination, a profound, responsible act of imagination. We will begin now with a song from Singata. scattered uh, all over the world and uh, we saw the images of the genocide in, in Rwanda. So we were um, totally distraught, like I, I believe a lot of people uh, in the world. It just happened that uh, uh, Boris and uh, a, a large group of writers, African writers, uh, used to go to a yearly festival in Lille, in the north of, uh, of France, called First Africa, and so we were used to gather uh, at uh, that particular time once a year, and we started talking about uh, uh, the genocide, and we were thinking, what can we do as uh, as writers? We then decided that as writers, we would go to Kigali to write about post-genocide. Uh, Rwanda, not as journalists like uh, uh, Boris, who is a journalist also, but as writers. Because after a lot of discussions, we became convinced that literature could do something that journalism on its own couldn't, or that history on its own couldn't. We were trying to throw a light, uh, a different light, on something that was in danger of being overcome by 
facts, numbers, and uh, after a while you just blank out and it doesn't mean anything. Sometimes I think uh, if 800,000 to 1 million people died, that means there are about 800,000 to 1 million stories that can be told. We went there, uh, Veronique, uh, and uh, myself and many, uh, 10 other African writers from Kenya, from Guinea, from Burkina Faso, etc. And it was very difficult, but it was absolutely necessary to, to go to, to Rwanda, even four years after the genocide, to, to know directly what happened there, to talk with the survivors, to go in prisons, to talk with, with killers, and yeah, to, and to write our books. Uh, why was it necessary? Just because uh, today, uh, 16 years later, we are here talking about the people who died uh, in 1994. Uh, there are two main reasons uh, why, for me, uh, it, uh, it was important to, to write about genocide, even if it was difficult. The first reason is that, you know, when the killers come, they don't uh, only want to destroy the lives of their victims, they have, they have also the intention to destroy their death. What I mean by that, uh, they don't only kill them, they kill them in a very humiliated way, they throw their body everywhere in mass grave. I think if there is something extremely important in, in human life, it's the ritual of death, the ritual of mourning, and with uh, people who killed in Rwanda, uh, it, was, it, it was something you couldn't uh, imagine. They didn't want that. These people uh, didn't deserve to exist. They just... Uh, uh, they just uh, get rid of them. No name, no face. And when we as writers we come, we, we give these victims a name, we give them a face, we give them a personal life, we revive them. And uh, um, that's why I think uh, Elie Wiesel said once, no, never say that the Nazi killed six million people. No, they killed one, 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 one person till it reached uh, six million. I think people who, who doubt that it is necessary uh, to write about genocide, about human tragedy, I think they are wrong. When everything is okay, there's no need to write about it. But when, when uh, things are, uh, are so bad, I think it's important to write about it so we can say never again. Yeah, thank you.